Welcome everyone. This is going to be our Algebra 2 uh, lesson on how to find the recursive formula for arithmetic and geometric sequences. And this kind of follows on our studies of uh, arithmetic ge geometric sequences and all, uh, and also for some of the assignments that we're running into. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And turn on notifications for be alerted when new videos are added. So let us begin. So the question is going to be asked us to find the common difference in the recursive formula. Well, we, in the last video, we talked about how to determine or how to find the common difference. So that one's not so bad. So here we're going to just take the second term minus the first term, and we get 10. We also see in this case to take the third term minus the second term, we still get 10, and the fourth term minus the third term, and we get 10. So our common difference, D, is equal to 10. But how do we find the recursive formula? When finding the recursive formula, we need to identify the starting term or terms we call the initial condition. For arithmetic sequences, it will usually be the first term. And so A1, our first term, will be the will be the initial condition. Not so bad. We then find the recursion formula that tells us how to find the next term in sequence from the one before it. And that's usually the part that a lot of students have trouble with. The great thing is for arithmetic sequence, we are adding the preceding term by the common difference. Therefore, the formula will be A sub n is equal to A sub n minus 1 plus D, meaning you to find the next term, we will take the term before it and then add the common difference. So to find the fifth term, we're just going to take the fourth term and add the common difference we found. Let's go back to our problem then. So for this one, our initial condition is 9. So we have A1 equals 9. And again, that's part of our recur uh, recursive formula. And so in general, the recursion formula will just be A sub n times A sub n minus 1, the previous term, plus D. And our D value is 10. Therefore, we will have A sub n equal to A sub n minus 1 plus 10. So our initial condition, A1 equals 9. Our recursive recursion formula is A sub n equals A sub n minus 1 plus 10. Not so bad. Let's take a look at this second problem. And we have here, we'll see, to find the common difference, we take 19 minus 22 and we equal to negative 3. 16 minus 19 is equal to negative 3. 13 minus 16 equals negative 3. So it looks like our common difference is negative 3. Our initial condition now, because now we're trying to find the recursive formula, our initial condition is 22. So we have A1 equals 22. And then a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus negative 3. Well, plus negative 3, we can rewrite that as a n equals a n minus 1 minus 3. And that will be our formula, a recursion formula. And our initial condition is a 1 equals 22. Okay. Questions? Now we're asked to do this for, to, to our next set of problems asking us to work with geometric sequences. How do we know? Because they ask, find the common ratio and the recursion formula. And so here when we're talking about common ratio, we're talking about the you know, geometric, geometric sequences. And we, we have talked about how to find the, how to find in this case, the uh, common ratio in a previous video. 
please make sure to catch that previous video where we talk about you know identifying identifying a com, uh, a arithmetic or geometric sequence. What we said is to find the common ratio, you take the second term and divide by the first term, and then the the third the third term divide by the second term. So we're going to take in this case the second term five and divide by negative one, and that's equal to negative five. We're going to double check and see, and we see in this case, neg twenty five divided by five is also equal to negative five. And one last try in this case, just to make sure, because we want to make, go, make sure that it works for all of them, 125 over neg 25. You see, so in this, every situation, we take the ratio of any term divided by its previous term, we have to get the same value over and over again. And we get, in this case, an R value, our common ratio of negative 5. Okay, but now... The recursive formula. When finding a recursive formula for geometric sequences, our initial condition also will also be the first term a1. Sorry, will also be. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Just make sure you have your, you know, proper notes. There you go. So yes, we we'll use a1, the first term for a recursive rec recursive formula. Same way for initial condition. We then find the recursion formula that tells us how to find the next term in a sequence from the one before it. This time, for a geometric sequence, we are multiplying the preceding term by the common ratio. a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 times r. So let's try this out. So a1, we see, is equal to neg 1. And our formula a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times r. And our r value is negative 5. So we'll have, in this case, the recursion formula is going to be negative 5 times a sub n minus 1. And that means, in this case, ladies and gentlemen, that, the, that you're just going to multiply any, any term by negative 5 to find the next one. So that's our recursion formula. This is our initial condition, the two pieces we need for a recursive formula. Let's try the next one. We'll divide negative 15 by negative 3, and we get positive 5. We'll divide negative 75, divide by negative 15, and we get positive 5. We'll divide neg 375 divided by neg 75. Well, let's see, it's definitely a positive value. And I think in this case, yes, it will be a positive 5 value. So our R value, our common ratio, is going to be positive 5 this time. And now for the recursive formula. A1, our first term, is negative 3. And a sub n is equal to a sub n minus 1 times 5. So that means our formula will be a sub n equals 5, positive 5 this time, times a sub n minus 1. Now, don't think that every recursive formula will have the 5 multiplying or negative 5. Just work out this way. And so for all the other problems you run into, this is the basic form of finding the recursive formula for both arithmetic and geometric. So sometimes we get a little bit afraid of doing these things, but we shouldn't. It should be pretty straightforward then. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of our lesson on how to find the recursive formula for uh, arithmetic and geometric sequences. And a little bit of review of the common ratio as well as a common difference. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. Really appreciate it. And also, in this case, leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, uh, including any other topics you'd let me go over, anything that you found, you know, need a little more explaining. Definitely, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and make sure that your knowledge of series sequences is a little more complete. Thanks so much, so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll talk more about how to find the nth term. All right, bye. Take care. Be safe.